Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the difference between a 4 to 20 milliamp two wire current loop and four wire current source. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. The next thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out how to wire our analog input. And so if we go to the point IO digital and analog manual, and I like this one because it has most of the modules. It doesn't have all the modules, but in this case, I can hit control F and I'm going to be looking for IE to C. And if we go down a little bit right there, there is the wiring diagram for it. So I'm going to click there and this is going to give us the user manuals wiring diagram. And here is where the problem really starts with using four to twenties is if you look, we have two different wiring diagrams. Oh, my mouse is smaller on this computer, but okay, I'll just use highlights. So this one on this side, you see that we have an input and okay, we have a chassis ground and then we have a voltage or a V terminal, which we can assume is voltage actually right here. V is 12 or 24 volt supply. And then we're going back to the input. But on this side, see that we are getting an input same as we were and we have a chassis ground but in this case we're connecting to the common so right away people look at this and they're like i have no idea what to do because one of these says connect voltage and an analog input and the other says connect our common and analog input well if you look right here this is a four wire and this is a two wire and so in the four wires case, you see they kind of show two more wires going over here and then they say AC or DC. It's still not super clear, but right here, which let's see if I can smoothly do all these things. <laughs> you have no idea how hard, hard this is. Yeah, everything is backwards now. But so we'll figure out how I am a Dexter, so I really am. So this is a four wire setup right here. And so we have our power supply and it could be 24 volt, it could be 12 volt. This could actually be 480 volt on a drive even, but mainly it's gonna be some external power supply that is really not in any way related to our milliamp circuit. And in this case, the analog signal what this device is going to do is it's just going to regulate the current coming through. So we're going to hit, we're going to connect plus to the analog plus, or usually sometimes it'll say MA plus or milliamp plus, and then analog minus is going to go to the minus, or in our case, the common. And that's what you're seeing here on this left side. So we have an input or analog input. We have one wire, and it doesn't even distinguish here. Just, I wish they would be a little more specific, but it can actually be confusing. I can see why they don't. Is This wire right here is the plus on a four-wire system. Now, note that on a four-wire system, this is a plus wire, because that's going to matter in a second. And then the minus wire is going to be this common. And then, yeah, we do have a shield wire or a chassis ground. And depending on your device, it may not have this. I kind of wish they would dash that out or even I know you can't really say optional there but really a lot of times there's only two wires but anyway on this side this is a current two wire device now one thing I need to did miss saying on this is this right here is what we call an actively powered device so this is actively powered from somewhere else also you have a three wire device and on a three-wire device, oh, my marking isn't working. Um, on a three-wire device, the analog minus and the power supply minus will be internally jumpered. So a three-wire device will be wired typically like a four-wire device. Now let's look at a two-wire device though, because this is where the confusion really starts to come in. Oops, wrong one. Wait. And so this is a two-wire device. And so same deal, we have an analog plus and a minus, or two wires mainly, on our sensor. And we're going to send 24 volt from our power supply plus to the plus of the sensor. And here's where it gets confusing to people, is we're going to take the minus of that sensor, and we're going to go to the plus or our analog input. And then we're going to take the minus or the common, and we're going to go back to our power supply. 
And this is what we call passively powered. So this thing doesn't actually get power. And then it really confuses a lot of people because they're like, well, I mean, where is it actually getting it? Well, it's gonna consume a little bit of power out of this four to 20 milliamp signal to power it. And here is where understanding that current and power are two different things comes into play. I'll put a link to the four to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.